Hey everybody, Andre from CFX Films here, and this is another one of my older projects. Actually, this isn't really an old project, this is actually a new one. So that's the plot twist for this video. I know it happened in the first 10 seconds, but oh well, it's my video. Um, yeah, so this is basically a another one of my prototypes, except this one is supposed to mimic the web-slinging motion of everyone's favorite uh, neighborhood Spider-Man. Is that what they say? I don't know. I'm not a huge Marvel guy. I, I like the movies, but I don't know uh, all the little things. So this is kind of cool. So I'm actually using an Xbox One controller. All, a lot of my, or most of my new prototypes are all uh, programmed with the controller in mind. And I do this because I'm practicing for uh, when I'm connecting to an actual Xbox One. So I can actually make console games because that's, that's, I'm hoping to do some console ports in the future. So the way it works is you press the you uh, press the bumpers, and the web sort of shoots in that direction, and then the ball the uh, player is swinging towards that area. So as you can see here, I'm actually swinging. If you do both of them at the same time, it kind of pulls you forward. So it's kind of cool. Those little red dots are always moving forward uh, with you, so it always looks like they're far away, but you're actually swinging. If you see the buildings, the buildings are actually moving with me. So I can actually go up too. See if I can get up here. So unfortunately, it's not ray casting yet. I couldn't really figure out the ray casts, so that's okay. But uh, as you can see, it's actually swinging. It's quite fun. So I want to show you guys how I did it. Okay, so I'm using Fraps, and Fraps only lets you record one window at a time. Uh, it's just I'm using this just because it has the highest frame rate. So I apologize for that. I'll try and show you with this one window. So this is the main camera. And the main camera, as you can see in the bottom right here, the camera preview, that's what it's seeing. It has a very wide uh, angle lens. Each one of these little red panels are being controlled with a controller. And the camera has a, an object look at script. So it's always looking at this object called web point. And joint left and joint right are uh, spring objects. So they have a spring um what do they call them a hinge so up here uh, in component it would be physics i oh, know wait where would it be yeah so i it, i think it's a spring joint i added so there's a spring joint and those are connected to right web and left web respectively and left web point and right web point are connected and move uh dynamically with the red panels so when you press the bumpers web point is always trying to move to joint left or joint right and when you press the bumper uh, left web point moves to joint left and right web point moves to joint right so web points actually moving to right web point so hopefully this makes sense I draw a little diagram if I could or if I really had the motivation to <laughs> but it's pretty simple really um, it's just this is just an object that's moving from side to side when I when I press the web shooting button and the camera just follows it. So the camera naturally follows uh, the object and it makes it look like it's actually shooting a web. So it's actually pretty simple and it's kind of cool. So I thought you guys would, uh, would like this. I might actually put this up as a free download or just kind of send it to the asset store when I finish it and I have ray casts so you can actually shoot them. Because I think this would be kind of a cool project, you know, a cool little mini game. Could be a mobile game. You know, this could be really cool. So that's really it, guys. Just thought you might like this. Let me know what you think in the comments section below. If you have any ideas, maybe I could do something really cool with this before I actually release it. So thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.